Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I package my cookies for shipping. And I always start kind of backwards. So I start with looking at what box and what envelope I want to use and then I fit my cookies into that. So here we go. You have an infinite amount of cookies and boxes and things that you can do. But for me, when I ship to friends and family, I like to keep it simple. Everybody gets the same um, shape box. That way I don't have to stock multiple boxes. I try to keep the treats about the same. And then I use a flat rate padded envelope from USPS and it's all designed so that the box fits the treats which goes nicely into this flat rate box so that I don't have to worry about various postage and things like that. So here we go. I always start with thinking over what kind of cookie varieties I want to give to our friends and family. So I've got some mini decorated cookies here. If you're shipping larger decorated cookies, the technique is gonna be a little bit different. You'll want to make sure that they're wrapped slightly differently than what I'm doing now. Here's a quick tip already. I always double heat seal my cookies so I know they are airtight and that they'll stay good for a long time. And the way you can tell that they're well sealed is when you press on it, there's give. You can't hear the air leaking out anywhere. That's what you want that'll prolong the, life, like the shelf life of your cookie. And in addition, you just want to make sure that everything has a little bit of air in it that actually acts as a little bit of an extra cushion itself. I also have these butter cookies. I have a, a recipe for these guys on um, uh, the, my YouTube, so definitely go check out the channel, check that out. I'm also shipping these cookies. These are our everything cookies. And these are basically like your sweet and salty everything, uh, but the kitchen sink cookies right here. And then lastly for the, the little cookie box, I homemade some marshmallows and I cut them up and then I sandwiched them between chocolate and graham crackers so they're like mini s'mores. How cute, right? So this is what I'm going to be shipping. It's plenty as a little taste kind of treat box and then there will be room in here for me to add some miscellaneous small things to kind of customize it to my recipient. So here we go. I'm going to summarize everything into a blog post and also put that down below. So if you find this helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up, give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. So in addition to the box, I've got some tissue. This is my Borderlands Bakery custom tissue. And I've also got some shred. So this is great stuff for extra cushioning. Um, I, mine is, I used to do a lot of cookie orders and I don't do them anymore, but I have a ton of leftover shreds, so I'm going to use that instead of bubble wrap. So here we go. I'm going to speed this part up for the most part, but you'll kind of get the gist of what we're trying to do here. So build your box. This is a nine by six and a half by two uh, inches and 2.75 inches box from Paper Mart. Again, I will link them below. And it fits perfectly into a um, padded flat rate envelope from USPS, which is why I always choose to go this route. It also ships about a dozen three to four inch cookies perfectly. Again, another reason why I picked this. Aesthetics are very important, so I do like to make it pretty with some custom tissue paper, just to kind of close things out. Make sure this is upside down so that when you put it in here, the pattern faces the correct direction. So that's how we start. And here is how we build. So for these butter cookies, they don't need any kind of special packaging or anything like that. They don't even need to be airtight. So I just use a twist tie here. I'm gonna fold the top back for a little bit of cushioning and slide this right up against the side. So all I'm doing is building the box and then I'm going to fill in the gaps with shred. So this seems to stand up pretty well on its own. I don't want it too smashed. 
this. Uh, these are so cute. I can't get over it. So I'm going to grab some shred here. And I've got a bunch of other little things. I'm going to grab them real quick. All right, so this is a box for my friends. So I have some other goodies that I want to include in it, including a hand sanitizer, which we're just going to squeeze in like that. And then we have a little solid lotion bar that we're going to squeeze in like that. And the key is here, guys, to make sure that nothing moves very much as we ship it. So when we want to close our box and we shake it, we don't want things to move. And that's how we know it's going to be robust. And it won't all get smashed, I promise. <laughs> So I am including a little cookie decorating tool for her in here. And as you can tell, this actually has quite a bit of room if you are smart about your positioning, which we are going to be. And we can even use other little things, these little tea drop things to kind of bolster and secure everything. I'm gonna have that on top. This, I have this on the bottom. This on top like that. I guess this is gonna have to go on the bottom. It's a game of Tetris, all right? But, going to work out real well. I like to cushion everything nicely. And then we'll have this guy sit on top and it's perfect. And then we'll have our card here. She's even going to be able to have two face masks thrown in there. And look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. And now we will wrap it. Make sure that you're not smashing anything down in a big way so you're not crushing anything. Down, we're going to get our stickers. And seal it off just like this. And it should be a tight fit is what we want without crushing it. So it should be good, just like that. You don't wanna hear things moving around. That's how you know it's good. And if something gets smashed just a little tiny bit, it's okay. It's okay. But for the most part, we know that this is gonna be good. So this is done. We are going to slide it into our flat rate padded envelope, it's going to be a very tight fit. So everything is designed to be just the right fit. And I'm using like my stomach to like brace it and push it in. And now I'm gonna secure it. I'm gonna put another label here. I'll probably secure the sides and then we're good to go. So I'm gonna do another one here so you'll see just how easily it comes together. I'm also going to write her name on here so I know who's who. All right, so here we go, I'll show you another one. All right, this one's gonna be a little bit less stuff, the same concept. Secure everything so that they don't move. You don't need to overly stuff the box or um, pack, uh, pack it with bubble wrap. And when you choose your designs, it's critical that you go for things. So with minis, uh, with the movement, they won't crack as much. With the one big, more uh, bigger surface area cookie, with all that shifting, it has a greater potential to crack. So this is why I actually always now go for minis when I ship. Uh, these guys are pretty robust. And then the other two things that I have in the package are pretty robust as well. All right, so here we go. Again, this is upside down so that the pattern lays straight when we get it in there. Now I'm going to start playing with how everything fits. And the other one worked 
quite well for me, so I'm going to do a similar approach for this. Kind of propped up, I'm gonna put some little drops of tea in there so that it can get propped up, but not too much. That should be good without getting smashed. We have our hand sanitizer that just went in. I'm going to be putting the masks on top. And then we have our s'mores. And then now, because there's nothing else that I'll be putting in here, I'm going to add shred. to fill up the gaps and to ensure that when things slide around, there's nothing moving. You can also use bubble wrap as kind of the way of doing this. Now we should be good. One mask here, one mask this way. Our cards go in on top. Same thing. And you'll know, because when you close it and you move it, you shouldn't really hear much shifting around. And you can use your tissue to kind of hold it tight. You see, I kind of pulled it up, pulled it taut so everything is even more secure. Stick the sides in, like that. Now, we got another box and it's gonna be nice and well packed, well secured. And just like that, we've got another box ready. And I will secure this with more tape and a label as well when we're ready. putting their name on there. Again, it shouldn't move. That's how you know it's good. All right, to give you another angle at how I'm packing this. So I've already lined my box and I'm gonna start packing it the way that we had arranged it earlier. And now there's some, some space in between here, so I'm going to basically stuff it with the tea drops because that'll help bolster it. If you don't have little things to stuff this with, I would definitely recommend using bubble wrap or your shred. And then I've placed things in here as they fit, hand sanitizer adding more tea drops in there to kind of um, prevent it from shifting as much. Now here's our more fragile item and I'm going to stuff this with shred. Both around and a little bit on top to give it a little bit of space between this and the decorated cookies that we'll be putting on top. So just grabbing that shred, shoving it into all the various crevices, making sure nothing is um, like rubbing it wrong, and just giving it some space. So now we're pretty good. I'm gonna put in the face masks, our card. <laughs> So I think I can put the face masks in this way because they have a little bit of give in them. And make sure that it's all even and that you can close the box without having to press down on the top to smash the cookies. Very important. And then we're going to kind of pull this guy up so that there's a little space here so that we can close everything nicely. And I like to fold my tissue so it's kind of exactly halfway. This is definitely more for a presentation than anything. But I just want the tissue to hold the product inside nice and tightly. And then we secure with a seal. 
to make sure that everything is pushed up so that when you close your box, you're not smashing the tissue and breaking it. And then finally, shake it to make sure that nothing is moving. And that's how you know it's done. Now I'm just going to put this into our padded flat rate envelope, seal it up, and we're ready to go. Tight fit, as you can see. But it should slide nicely in and we will secure with a seal and some tape on the sides for extra security when we're ready.